you guys will agree. But I feel like I look really different in this video because I just did a video where I filmed myself following a celebrity's makeup routine. I'll link the video down below. I literally like look at myself and I'm like, I don't even feel like I look like myself. What do you guys think? Do you like it or do you hate it? And look how cute these earrings are. These are from Fawnstar. Anyway, today we are kicking it right back. We're going way back. We're going back to the old school. We are doing an empties video. So today I'm going to show you a whole lot of products that I have completely used up and I'm going to give you a quick rundown a quick review on what I thought and if I would repurchase that product obviously you guys see so much in my videos but you don't actually see like just the things that I'm using behind the scenes day to day like shampoos and body wash and whatever so that's what you're gonna see today let's dive straight in I'm sitting on the ground because it's nice and comfy and I've got a lot of space to like sort out all the recycling and everything so let's just dive in I literally have like a huge box next to me I can't even like lift it and show you so first off I have the Asano Rose Hip Micellar Water and I'm sure I've talked about this in the past this is a really affordable brand I'm pretty sure you can get a countdown and stuff like that um I loved this for cleaning my false eyelashes random AF but micellar water I just chuck it in like a little jar and I put my false lashes in leave them overnight and then I pull them out and then just pull off all the glue wipe off all the mascara and it leaves my lashes looking brand new it's magic and I really like this one it is pH balanced it cleanses and soothes I've also used it just on my skin to help remove traces of makeup and to freshen up throughout the day I really like my cellar waters like after I use my micro exfoliation tool or after I shave my face I like to just go over with some like Micellar water just to, you know, cleanse my skin, get rid of any dead stuff. And it just really helps to freshen you up. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this. I would definitely repurchase it. I think I should repurchase it. It lasted a long time and it's New Zealand owned, I'm pretty sure. Made in New Zealand and vegan. Okay, maybe it's not owned by New Zealand. I don't know. There's a New Zealand website and an Australian website, whatever. You guys can Google it if you want to see where you can buy it from. Next up I have this cleanser, Oh, it's all gooey at the top, I've literally had this for maybe a year, it took me quite a while to get through because I didn't use it as my only cleanser, I actually have like three or four cleansers on the go, but this was one of them, it is the Age Smart Dermalogica Skin Resurfacing Cleanser, this one is kind of like a chemical exfoliant if I understood correctly, I was recommended this at a facial, it says it had, yeah there we go, highly active lactic acid concentrate helps to retexturize your skin, suffering from visible signs of aging and removing dulling surface debris, helping accelerate cell turnover. Because I get a lot of like congestion on my chin and stuff like that, like blackheads and things. So she said this would help with like clearing that up and helping it to get rid of like. I don't know, I've got a lot of like marks on my chin from acne and things. I did like it. It's definitely not the kind of cleanser you would remove your makeup with or anything like that. I preferred to use this on days where I wasn't exfoliating, I wasn't wearing makeup, stuff like that. And I just, you know, massage it into my skin. I don't really know if I'll repurchase it. I don't know if it did a really good job, but that's because I didn't only use this. I think I would need to like you know, buy this and then only use this and really keep at it because yeah, I just used it randomly so I don't really know if it works that well or not but I do love Dermalogica, it's one of my favourite skincare brands of all time and there's probably a few Dermalogica bits and pieces in here and I do have another cleanser which I like more than this one in my opinion for my skin type but everyone's skin type is different so yeah, definitely go like check out Dermalogica, you can get facials done and they'll let you know what products to buy for your skin type. Here we go, here's one. So this one here is actually the one that... Oh, a really itchy nose. This is the one that they recommended for Hamish. So he has slightly oilier skin than me. He doesn't have like excess oily skin, but you know, just a little bit. And this is the, did I say already? Dermal Clay Cleanser. He's been using this for like years and years now, probably like five or six years, I would say. So we've gone through a lot of these together. I use this sometimes at nighttime when I really want to feel real clean. It's kind of like a clay consistency and it gives you this like fresh feeling on your skin after you finish using it. Once again, I would not use this to remove remove makeup. I would just use this on like, you know, already makeup removed skin. <laughs> it is really nice. I like it a lot. It's got cowling clay, is that how you say it? Green clay, um, which helps to purify your skin. Ivy and lemon to remove excess oil and refine your skin's texture. 
calming cucumber and sage soothe while refreshing menthol revitalizes even the most tired skin so yeah it's really nice if you just want to feel like nice and fresh it's really nice in the mornings too but he uses it at night and morning i would sometimes use it at night before bed because it just made me feel super clean but without feeling like squeaky clean because i hate it when my skin feels like dry and squeaky clean like it still felt good you know oh we're all dark today the weather is out of control it is so stormy it's just been raining on and off all morning and it's one of those days we almost want to turn all the lights on but I don't want to do that because I refuse it's like friggin 12 o'clock <laughs> next up we have some collab dry shampoo this is the paradise fragrance and I would compare it to bit I was gonna say Baptiste Batiste is that it Batiste oh my god I'm getting all confused now um I like Batiste better still a little bit I don't know why it just seems to go better in my hair like it doesn't feel as like heavy and I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this was still really good. But yeah, Batiste is like my ride or die because it's super cheap. I can get it at Countdown. It smells good, like whatever. But I still, yeah, this was still really good. I don't know. I just feel like maybe I'm just a diehard Batiste fan at this point. I don't know. There's definitely a lot of other good dry shampoos. Here we go. Here's the Batiste one. Um, there's a lot of good dry shampoos, but I think just because this is so accessible and easy to get, like I'm just like, whatever, I'll just go with it. Ooh, we have the Handsome Men's Skincare. <laughs> body wash um I crack myself up when I like read that I've got the scrub in the shower at the moment and I'm the one using it not even Hamish like I'm like I can be handsome if I want holy crap it's still too dark oh my god I should have not filmed today but I just wanted to but I shouldn't have because it's literally the worst lighting in the entire world but luckily it's not a tutorial so whatever this is organic natural no nasty is not tested on animals blah 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 this is just a body wash so me and Hamish used it up it smells really good it smells like citrus like it kind of smells like a mojito or something it smells really delicious it says it's lime banksia and bergamot whatever that is it lasted a good amount of time I really liked it it's made in Australia but you can google it if you're interested the packaging is really nice if you've got a stubborn husband or boyfriend or whatever that refuses to use girly things but I mean in my experience they usually love the girly shit but whatever if you're looking for something like this it is really good and I enjoyed using it so whatever I used up the snow fairy body conditioner you guys have probably heard me talking about this in the past I always repurchase it it's definitely a repurchase product basically it is kind of like hair conditioner that's how it looks this one smells like candy floss Mmm, it smells so good. Basically, yeah, you just use it like you do your hair conditioner, but you put it all over your body. I like to leave it on for a minute and then just rinse it off and it leaves my skin feeling very buttery and moisturized. And I especially love this before I hop on a flight because you guys know I fly a lot and I dry out like crazy. Like, I've got the driest skin, but using this before I get on a flight just really locks in all of the moisture in my body and I get through the flight without like flaking into one piece of like scabby skin. So yeah, I really like this stuff and I think it comes in quite a few different scents if you don't like the candy floss, but Snow Fairy is my all-time favorite. It's my like ride or die. And literally like this is as bright as I can get my camera right now. So let me just turn on some lighting because otherwise I'm just going to bitch this whole time. And that was not a fart. That was my friggin' leg rubbing against the cardboard box. It might as well be 7 p.m. right now. This is crazy. Literally last night at 9.05 p.m. it was brighter than it is right now anyways okay let's just carry on so I've got some angels on bare skin cleanser this is amazing I love this so much I always go back to it it's a really nice kind of like soft exfoliating kind of daily cleanser and it leaves my skin feeling like buttery smooth there's probably none left in here um, it comes in like this big glob like a big log of clay looking stuff with lavender and bits and pieces in it if you live near a lush go check it out it makes my skin really bright because it kind of like buffs your skin and yeah so if you want like really bright glowing skin this is really good I used up the vitamin C by Timmy I really liked this and it kind of left my skin a little bit like sticky but in a nice way where I would go and put my makeup on top and it would like really freshen up my complexion and make me glow make me like I don't know just radiant looking while at the same time kind of like sticking down my foundation on top of it it was kind of like good as a primer if that makes sense so yeah I really liked it oh my gosh there is so much stuff okay next up I've talked about this too so I'll go over it quickly this is the KMS Thermashape quick blow dry I thought it was discontinued but they just kind of like repackaged it it is my holy grail it's really good just to spray in your hair before you blow dry it it cuts down your blow dry time by like half and it just makes your hair shiny conditioned protects against heat like just you know everything it's just magic I love this and I've already repurchased like four of them because I've got a couple here a couple at the beach house I like to have backups because I don't like to go without it so it is amazing 
I've actually got a little bit left. Oh my god. Giant shampoo and a giant conditioner. These were in my shower for like a year and a half, I swear to god. We've actually moved on to new stuff, which I'm going to talk about in future videos. But I do really like this brand, Joyco. I've used this for years, like since being blonde. The K-Pack Reconstruct line. It's really nice if you've got damaged hair. And I really like this one, the Body Lux Conditioner. Because it wasn't too heavy. 2 Hour Express Tan by Loving Tan. I love Loving Tan. I am not using it at the moment though. I've kind of just been trying heaps of other ones. Mostly at Bondi Sands because I've got so many different tans. So I've been kind of like trying them all out. Um, so yeah, I haven't used it in a while but I do love it. Like right now I've got remnants of the liquid gold. Like literal, like it's barely there. Okay. It makes me so dark, but there's like remnants. I need to fake tan again. Next up we have De Lorenzo Nova Fusion Color Care Shampoo. This is the rose gold. So I like to use rosewood, but I also dabble in rose gold. Rosewood's better, okay, if you like that kind of pinky hue to your hair. This is not like a toner. It is definitely more of like a color deposit to your hair. Um, but for me, like, it doesn't really stain my hair that much. For other people, they end up with like this color hair. So you know, be cautious. But I like to use rosewood more than rose gold. Rosewood just gives me that kind of like pink reflect in my hair that I love. I don't use it every time, but here and there, like right now, I've got none. Like my hair needs a purple shampoo right now. I've been really slack. But yeah, it's really good stuff. If you guys have seen pictures of me where I've got that kind of like almost holographic blonde hair, that's what I use. But rosewood is better. Okay, trust me. I used up some skin food facial wipes and these were just leftover. I don't really purchase makeup wipes pretty much ever because I just use my face halo. But they were like in my house. So I used them up. Love them though. Really good. Glam Glow. Glow said I've actually got a little tiny bit in here but it's at the point now where like I've got to like strategically <clears throat> angle. Oh my god, I've got an itch in my throat. But like strategically spray it otherwise I get globs because... It like sucks up air because it's like almost empty. That stuff, like, I feel like I don't even need to talk about it because if you watch my videos, you know how much I love that. It gives you the best glowy finish and kind of leaves like a sheen. It's like hydrating. It sets all the powders. My makeup just looks amazing with it on. I'm obsessed. I've got backups already. I've already repurchased. I've already put it in my Cosmetips box, which is behind me. I love it so, so, so much. It's amazing and the packaging's so good. It is so fine. You can barely feel it. But I have actually, I'm going to use it twice though, but I have been loving this for like kind of like a dupe if you don't want to splash out. This is the Pretty Fresh by Colourpop. You can use the code SHANTEN to save money too. And it's got hyaluronic acid in it, so it's really hydrating. But this one's like a very similar kind of feeling. It's so fine. And it kind of gives a very similar finish to the Glam Glow one. Next up, Fudge Purple Shampoo. I've already repurchased it. I've been using this since I've been blonde. Um, it's the only purple shampoo I really use, so I love it. I just like to mix it with my normal shampoo and kind of go like half-half and like, you know, put it in my hair. If my hair's like this, like what I'll probably do is put it in and leave it in for about three to four minutes just to give an extra boost of like you know, toning. But yeah, it's really good. I usually, usually, not lately, but I usually use it like every second or third wash. So like once a week to once every week and a half. Um, and it's perfect. I love it so much. Most of these things are loves, guys. I've got my Danish skincare, smooth skin treatment once again. That's in my Cosmetips box too. I love the stuff. It lasts forever. Like I don't go through it quickly at all. I actually donated a bunch because like when they sent this product to me, they sent me like a ton. So I ended up donating heaps because I won't even use it up by the time like it goes off. It's so good guys. So good. It's basically like a liquid exfoliant kind of product. You just put it on a cotton pad or on your fingers if you're me because I'm lazy and I just pat it all over and it kind of helps to dissolve dead skin cells, helps to brighten, helps to get rid of breakouts, just all of those good things. It's just amazing. I love it so much. Definitely Google it. Oh my god, I've almost gone through a whole nother one of these too. This is like definitely a massive, massive favorite and if you're wondering what one of my favorite like skincare products was or like body care products was of the year last year, this is definitely one, even though I only recently discovered it, but it's the Phyto Replenish Body Oil by Dermalogica. Bergamot Orange Blossom. It's so good. It is a oil, if you can see like in the very bottom here, like the texture of it. Um, I just tip some. I wish it came with a pump. That's one thing I wish, but I just tip it onto the palm of my hand. I actually do it with this like, whoops, 
last little drizzle that went all over my track pants and then I just like massage it on my body like straight after a shower and it just like soaks in immediately and it's so quick and easy which I love because I'm so lazy when it comes to moisturizing and it gives you like the most amazing kind of like glow to your body just because it's so hydrated it doesn't actually have shimmer or anything like that it just makes your skin naturally glow because it's so hydrating and it soaks in and it's so lightweight. It's not like normal moisturizers where you have to like sit around and wait for them to like soak in. So it's really good if you're like me and you just want to get dressed straight away and don't want to like F around. So I definitely recommend this. It does last quite a decent amount of time. I use it all over my body and it still would have lasted me like well over a month. Like every single day. And sometimes I used way too much. I do wish there was a pump because I feel like I would avoid using too much. I feel like every empties video I do has these, what are they? Original source shower gels because they smell so good and they're so cheap. We just buy them from Countdown. Mm, this one's mint. I really love minty stuff because it just helps to wake me up in the morning like after the gym. It makes me feel extra extra clean. So I really like it. I'm just grabbing random stuff by the way, as you can probably tell. Next up I've got Hoola. I think they've discontinued this. This is the Zero Tan Lines. I actually found another one. I was so excited. I found one in my drawer and I was like, I'm going to use it because, yeah, I don't think you can get it anymore. It comes with a sponge. I don't use that. I use a normal tanning mitt. Um, I don't even know where I'm talking about it if you guys can't get it, but it's like this like, whoa. I don't even know if you can see it, it's like, I don't know, like a tanny moisturizer, like instant tan product. It doesn't develop, it's just like an instant tanner. But what I would do is I would put it on my mitt and then I'd put in some like body glow, like the Brazilian Bum Bum brand, whatever that one is, like the glow oil. And I'd mix it together and like just put it all over my body when I just wanted to like boost my fake tan if it was fading a little bit. Um, I wore it all the time to like music festivals and on holiday. Um, when I had events and things like that, like I really liked it, but I don't know, apparently no one else did because they discontinued it. Oh my god, I can't even like take myself seriously, like I look so strange in this makeup right now. It's like there's nothing happening on my bottom lash line and like it's just like that. Alright, next up we have the Alia Skin Pomegranate Exfoliated Facial Scrub. I really liked this. I don't love the scent. It's got a powdery kind of like scent, I guess from the clay, but I do love the product. It was really, really nice. It doesn't have microbeads, which is amazing. It's just got the pomegranate, like, seed powder, which exfoliates your skin. So if you like those, like, you know, ground up kind of exfoliators, which, you know, some people say they're really not good for your skin because they can create, like, micro tears and things. Keep that in mind. For me, I still loved it. Like, it made my skin feel amazing. So, <laughs> YOLO. And the packaging's really cute. Cruelty free. Made in Australia. So... Yeah, I liked it. And I love the face mask they do too. I have a couple of lipsticks. Both of these are like used up and dried out. So I used up Unicorn Blood by Jeffree Star. Love this color. It's literally like a paste. It's so dried up. I've had it for so many years. I've probably had it for like four or five years. And then also Sand by Dose of Colors. I really want to repurchase both of these. I used up the Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum. It has AHAs in it by Ulla Henriksen. I really liked this. It comes in, hopefully I've got a little bit left in here. It's got like a light purple tint. Yeah, there you go. Which helps to like brighten the appearance of your skin when you're just wearing it on bare skin. But it smells amazing. It smells like sugar. But like not just straight sugar, like sugary something. I don't really know. Um, I really liked it. It made my skin bright. It made it glow. It really like did what it says it does. I really like Ole Henriksen, um, like their alt what is it? Retinol like line with the AHAs. I love the night cream as well. I think it's a night cream in like the tub. Anyway, I'll show it to you eventually when I finish using it up. But yeah, really loved that. I'm not actually using a serum right now. I need to get on that. I've got a lot of serums waiting in my drawer for me to try, but I've just been so lazy with my skincare over Christmas and New Year's. It's awful. Like I'm really starting to get back into it this last week. I used up this gigantic, like this was an accomplishment, you guys. <laughs> this giant... Um, Moisture Surge by Clinique. I love this stuff. I'm actually still using it at the moment. Um, this is just the regular like gel consistency one. At the moment I'm using the one that's like a little bit more of a moisturizer consistency. It's a bit more of like a whiter color. But yeah, I love both. Um, it's amazing, obviously. Like I wouldn't have used up this giant tub if it wasn't. It's a very like lightweight consistency. You put it on, it feels like real, I don't know, like calming, like gel. You smooth it on and it's like... Oh, how do I even describe? Can you like see the texture on my finger? It just like smooths on and makes your skin feel like butter. I don't know. Like I just want to smother my whole body in this right now. And it's really lightweight, which is really nice too. It soaks in. 
really quickly it doesn't linger it doesn't feel too heavy or anything like that so it's really nice before makeup and things i would definitely repurchase but i've already got it we used up the shampoo and conditioner i can't find the other one but this is the shampoo shampoo and conditioner by revitalish we sell this on exo beauty shop really nice shampoo and conditioner it's really nourishing moisturizing just helps your like hair stay really nice and strong and healthy so it can grow longer re-establish an environment for hair to thrive this color safe phyto infused formula supports optimum scalp health fortifies the hair cuticle and works to improve your hair thickness so yeah Really liked it. It's quite a small bottle, but it did last a decent amount of time. I used up the shampoo way faster than the conditioner. I do that almost every time, I swear to God. But yeah, I do like it. I haven't really used a shampoo lately that I haven't like loved. Um, next up, we've got the Glam Glow Power Mud. I loved this. Is this the one that smells like pears? Yeah. So it started drying out. Like I almost got through it all. This is so nice. So basically it's a mask. You put it on, you let it dry, kind of like a clay mask. And then what you do is you take some water on your hands. I just like wet my fingers and then like massage it. And it almost turns into like an oily, muddy kind of formula. And it just really deep cleans. Like if I have super congested gunky skin or I've been wearing a lot of makeup earlier that day I'll remove my makeup use this you know do it massage it off and it really gets in there and cleans out my skin and yeah I love it I love the smell of it too it smells so delicious and I'm sure I've raved about this on my channel before but yeah if I haven't then now you know go buy it go try it it's definitely quite a unique formula like I don't really have much else like this one in particular we have another original source moisturizing shower milk this is the sweet apple and vanilla mmm smells so good honestly I love these I love body wash I'm like a body wash hoarder like not actually but like I love trying different scents all the time because I don't know I just get really excited to wash myself when it smells really good um, weird yeah i almost finished this now this is the same range as my favorite moisture surge by clinique but this thing in particular i just didn't love it as much for me it was still really hydrating and moisturizing but i feel like it might have been irritating my skin just a little bit i don't know i can't really tell if it was this or not but i felt like i was getting little tiny breakouts and things who knows i just decided to like step back from it and i feel like my skin cleared up a bit but it is really nice, like, I don't know, maybe you could try a sample. It may not have even been this, like, who knows. But it's a very similar kind of formula to the moisturizer, but even lighter. And it really, really hydrates. Like, if you've got dry skin, like, this is what you want. I'm thinking maybe I wasn't dry enough for this product. Because I don't really have, like, super dry skin. My skin's more normal to dehydrated, and I love moisturizing products. But I think this, perhaps, it was just a bit too much. So if you have like even drier skin than me, maybe it would be good. My hands are so hydrated right now and so glowy. <laughs> I used to have heaps of my Danish skincare cleanser. I love this. This is just a really stock standard cleanser I always have with me. And I always travel with it as well because I've got like the mini travel sized ones. This is so good to remove makeup. So I'll usually do like two rounds. And that's if I'm not using my face halo, like if I'm just in the shower. I'll just use it once to remove all my makeup. And then I'll use it a second time It just to really cleanse my skin and get it into my pores and make sure that there's nothing left on my face and it cleans so well but it's so gentle it like feels really 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 clean but not dry like your skin doesn't feel dry it's so good I love it I used up more hangover primer by Too Faced I think I've gone through like two of these now I love it so much it's just a really moisturizing primer with coconut water in it probiotic based ingredients silicone free it was really nice like I love this pretty sure I have got another one in my drawer that I need to start using but you guys know like if you've watched my YouTube videos for a long time like I've mentioned this a lot it's so nice and it smells so delicious it's just a really good like moisturizing face primer to perk up your skin before you start oh my gosh I used up two of these I really loved this like a lot so this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Collagen Super Serum um, I used this maybe like in Feb, March, April kind of timing last year. It was a while ago and then I used it again closer to the end of last year. It's a really nice lightweight kind of serum and it kind of sits in two different sections. I think there's like a bit of an oilier kind of texture so they, it separates, you know, and I just shake it up, squirt it on my face, put it on my face, whatever. It is so nice. It makes my skin feel like butter. It's so hydrating. And it says it's got collagen in it, which would be good for like anti-aging and everything. I don't know. I just loved how soft and 
like smooth it made my face feel like it really like felt like it plumped my skin almost I don't know what it was like it was it was so good so I definitely recommend looking up reviews and seeing if you think you might like that one just like with all of these products like look up reviews like if you're not too sure because obviously I'm trying out so many different skincare and hair care products all the time so just search up additional reviews before you purchase like if I love it that's all fine and swell but just to be extra sure that it's actually something that you think might work for you because everything is so like we've all got such different skin types and preferences and everything but yeah I love that and I also loved this I've had this for so long like probably like a year and I do have a backup and I've just started using it so this is another product that's kind of amazing when you want to like remove your makeup and deep cleanse your skin it is the Eve Lom cleanser and it comes I don't think there's any left in here you can kind of see a little bit of scrap like it's almost like a waxy kind of consistency so you just grab out like a little nug of it and then you like massage it and it goes like kind of creamy and white and then I massage it on my face and I'll use it to like remove my makeup if I want to or if I'm just using it on my bare skin like it just really helps to like get into my pores once again and really deep clean and it like I don't know what it is I guess because it's such a waxy thick kind of texture it really leaves my skin feeling so hydrated which I love before bed and it's got all of the instructions on here um, and how you can like use it to open up your pores and everything. It's so expensive though you guys like look up reviews to see if you think you will love it but it's quite luxurious like it's a very luxurious experience when you're like using it like it feels good. Used up an entire EXO Beauty lash glue. I've almost used up a second one already. I love this stuff needless to say. Um, it's like instant dry so you like paint it on, pop it on, it's sticky straight away, you can mess with it for a while and then it sets. It's so good. So you can check that out on exobeautyshop.com. I used up a roller lash. Love this. This was in my 2019 favorites video, which I'll link down below if you have missed it. I did a whole tutorial using like a full face of my favorite products from last year. I love this mascara so much. I've actually probably used up like four of these, but I used up this original skin cleansing makeup removing jello jelly with willow herb this is like the same range as that primer i love by origins that was also in that video i just talked about um this is like a what are they called you know like the what am i trying to say i don't even know like say stuff you put on your full face of makeup on dry skin you know massage it add water and it melts off like a makeup remover really good i probably won't purchase it again because i just go for my face halo most of the time but it was really fun to use it worked amazing really good if you've got like a shitload of makeup on and like heaps of like eye makeup that you just want to really gently remove i feel like with the face halo it's super gentle but sometimes if i've got like crap loads of makeup on i'll just do like a once over with something like this first and then go in with my face halo afterwards just to like finish it all up because you know sometimes I wear a shitload of makeup here's another roller lash. I used up this I love this I actually used up two or three of these this is the maracuja oil I've talked about this in the past I actually gave it to my cousin even because she was pregnant with twins and she's tiny she had two giant babies in her belly and she didn't end up with any stretch marks she just put this on every day um straight after the shower when her skin was still damp and it's so hydrating I love it so much so good I tell everyone to buy it I used up this French grape seed scrub refining body scrub by body shop I really liked this as far as body scrubs go I've used a few recently which I don't like so much but I'm still trying to get through them yeah it's gross looking in here when you first get it it's more like a green kind of color and it's like a really thick pasty um with like a million little bits of seeds in it so you just scrub it all over your body it's really really luxurious i'll definitely get that again gimme brow enough said love it used up well rested which is like a holy grail i don't feel like i have to talk much about that i don't feel like i have to talk much about this either tart lights camera lashes my nyx matte liquid eyeliner i used up some of that i actually feel like i used up a few other eyeliners throughout the year but i didn't collect every empty like I kind of wasn't sure if I was going to film this video or not but yeah you guys really wanted to see it like when I mentioned it in one of my videos you guys have been like give it to me so I'm sorry it took a little while to film you know here I am I've got it done now <laughs> we've only got two things left you guys so the first of the last rich repair serum by Goldwell holy crap I already repurchased this I want to see if I can get a little bit out it looks like this when you get it out and the scent okay Oh my god, it smells like perfume for your hair. It is luxurious. Like the best smell in the entire world. So I like to use this on my mid lengths and ends like right after the shower. When my hair is just damp, like after I've towel dried it a little bit, I'll pop it in my hair. I'll also use it on dry hair just to like moisturize. 
I love it so much. Okay, I love it. And my hair's just been so healthy lately. I've been using heaps of different hair care products, which I'll talk about more soon, but yeah, love it. It's anti-breakage, silky suppleness, enhanced elastic elasticity, I can't talk, healthy looking mid lengths and ends, instant shine and reinforced hair structure. Take one or two pumps and work through, blah, blah, blah. Like what I said, it's amazing. It smells like heaven on earth, okay, go smell it. And then the last thing, Daily Superfoliant. I've almost used another one of these as well. So if you're familiar with the Dermalogica Microfoliant, which is what I used to use, um, this is basically like the more intense version. It's like a dark charcoal color. Can you see this? So yeah, I use this probably like twice a week and I just pour some out on my fingers and then I wet my fingers a little bit and then kind of mix it into like a paste because it's just a powder in that container, pour it out as a powder, mix a little bit of water with it and it turns into like a creamy moussey exfoliant and oh my god I love it so much after I've had a really decent gym workout and my face is all like sweaty it just like soaks up all the excess oil, scratches away all of the dead skin cells and makes my skin look so bright, radiant, clean, fresh, all of it. It's so good. So yeah if you're looking for an exfoliant to try I definitely recommend that one. It won best in beauty 2018. It's so good. And that is everything. Well, everything that I've collected. There's definitely been other stuff, but like I said, I didn't collect everything. But if you guys liked this video, let me know in a comment down below so I know to collect more empties because I probably empty out a product like at least a couple of weeks or a couple, every couple of weeks. So, you know, I could probably film another one of these in another few months if you do like it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.